continue my conversation on how you can legally, ethically, and creatively be using AI inside of your author business, let's talk about how you can use AI to determine genre tropes that you can be writing into your novels to help save you some time and effort on your research and give you ideas on what might actually work for the story that you are telling. Now, with all AI, the more information you give it, the more it's going to be able to give back to you so you can say as much upfront as you want. I'm going to go very basic for this one, and then we can clarify if needed. So I'm going to jump in and say, I'm writing a novel. What are some of the popular tropes in the dystopian genre that I could consider using while writing my book? I'm going to go ahead and give it time to think, and it is going to pop out a list of potential things that I could be using. It starts off with a totalitarian government, a common trope where a powerful government exerts complete, oh, we moved up, hold on. It's really going there. A powerful government exerts complete control over society, often suppressing individual freedoms and dissent. Uh, it goes on to say resistance movement, surveillance state, class divide, post-apocalyptic setting. The world has undergone a catastrophic event, leaving it in ruins and forcing survivors to navigate the aftermath, corporate control, the loss of individuality, environmental collapse, protagonist discovery, propaganda indoctrination restricted knowledge, unlikely heroes. So it goes through and gives us a lot of different of oh, the chosen one. Yep, the chosen one is there. Uh, technology gone. Oh, oh, yeah, technology gone awry. Oh, my goodness. That was so hard for me right there. Um, but technology, a lot of people don't think about technology that kind of goes out of control and it gets misused and all of those things. You can pick some of these. You don't want to use all of these and you can ask for more information. So let's say um, you really liked the one with the chosen one and you want to learn a little bit more about that you can say tell me more about the chosen one trope and it will give us more information on that so we can learn a little bit more about that if you're not familiar with it or if you want more ideas on how you can tie it into the story that you are creating it's going to go ahead and think about this and it is going to spit back things like destined for greatness a symbol of hope an unlikely hero a mentor or a guide internal conflict unique abilities prophecies or visions catalyst for change overcoming odds inspiring others there's a lot of things that you can then be implementing into this maybe you don't like some of this you're going to say i don't like whichever part, give me another option, or how can I be using this inside of my story? If you give it information about the story, it can actually then tell you how some of these things could potentially fit into your story if you want to do some of these. Now, when it comes to tropes, you don't want to do all of them. You want to pick a couple of them because those are recognized things that people will be looking for inside of your story and say, yes, this represents a dystopian novel. This feels like a dystopian novel. This matches the expectations of a dystopian novel. So pick two, pick three, don't go above a couple of them because that just gets to be too much and they will say you're very tropey driven and that's not going to work to your benefit. But this is a great way to ask questions and have it do research for you so that you can then see how you can be putting this into the work that you're creating. Follow along for more ideas on how you can be using AI legally, ethically, and creatively inside of your business so that you can save yourself time and effort and make more money inside of your author space. We drop daily videos to help you make the most out of your author journey every single day. So we will see you in the upcoming episodes.